For a few months, I've been considering my options for upgrading my desktop system. It was a good machine, a Dell Inspiron with an Intel Core i5-8400 and 16GB of memory. It was limited in what processor I could upgrade it to, so I test drove an i7-8700T in it for a couple of months. While that did decrease my video render times, I wanted something newer to try out. I bought an Acer Aspire with an i5-11400, but the seller sent a machine with an i3-10105 instead. From CPU benchmarks, that didn't seem any better than the machine I had, so I sold it locally and started the search for something else. I decided that the newer pre-built systems being resold with simply the graphics card removed looked like good deals, if I could get one shipped to Alaska at a decent price. I finally settled on a Dell XPS 8940 with an i7-10700, 8GB of RAM, a 1TB NVMe drive, and a DVD-RW optical drive. I did this with the understanding of heating issues and figured that it was an easy fix. I started by seeing if the case airflow was part of the issue. My experiment did not show any improvement in the CPU temperatures or video rendering times, so a CPU cooler upgrade was in order. I purchased a Vitro V5 cooler after reading reviews that there were no issues mounting it in a machine like this. It was easy with everything they provided, and it dropped the temp so that the CPU isn't thermally throttling anymore. More on that in a future video. The only other upgrades I've done so far is move my hard drives from my older machine, and currently have 28GB of RAM in the system as well. I still need to look into a heatsink for the VRMs as I think it will help with the longevity of the system, especially with how I can tax the system. And there you have it. If there were no issues with this machine, then this video would not exist. That wouldn't be fun though, now would it? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below if you have similar issues with your XPS 8940 and how you've attacked the issues, or if you have one of the K-Model processors and are happy with the cooling solution provided. That's the end of this video. I hope it was not terrible.